friendship is everything. Friendship is more important than talent and more important than government. It is almost equated with family. Don't forget this. Quotations from The Godfather The Battle of Iwo Jima, known as the most tragic battle on the Pacific battlefield, lasted from February 19 to March 26, 1945. The entire island was almost blasted to scorched earth. A total of 6,821 people were killed and 21,865 were injured in this battle. 22,703 Japanese were killed and 1,083 surrendered. During the battle, Sergeant Tom Hardy, who belonged to the Marine Division, was very brave and shot a dozen Japanese soldiers. When charging with his team, unfortunately, a bullet passed through his chest. When he woke up, he had been moved to the medical ship for treatment, but no one knew. At this time, Tom Hardy had a soul from China in his body. Tom Hardy was born in 1921 and is 24 years old this year. He has no father and no mother in his family. He has only a middle school education level. He has participated in many battles as a soldier for five years and has developed a strong personality. And the soul of China comes from modern times, named An Yi. The two souls are separated by a hundred years. The female nurse in charge of Hardy is called Catherine. There are dozens of nurses on the ship. Catherine is the youngest and beautiful one. Catherine changed the dressing of Anyi, disinfected the front and back wounds with iodophore, poured sulfa powder, wrapped it in gauze, and supported Anyi to lie down. Sergeant Hardy, I believe you will get better soon. Catherine smiled and comforted. Thank you Miss Nurse. A few days later, the medical ship was filled with the wounded set sail and returned to Hawaii Harbor, and found one thing in ease. His injuries were originally considered to be serious, but his recovery was different from ordinary people's speed. There is no inflammation. The wound scabs for two days. Only one scar is left in ten days. Healed completely after half a month. The recovery speed is almost ten times that of ordinary people. Enyi didn't dare to tell others that he was afraid of being treated as a monster, but he guessed that he suspected that this was his own crossing welfare. Now that the two souls have not been fully integrated, the two memories are constantly interacting, which makes Enyi sometimes trance and very uncomfortable. He went to see a doctor. Of course, he couldn't say anything about the journey. He just asked how the trance condition should be relieved. There are all surgeons on the ship and they are not good at ease of illness. The analysis may be a mental illness. Many soldiers have suffered war trauma from the battlefield. The doctor gave him a few tablets of sedatives, and then prescribed an examination strip, so that he could go to the psychiatric department for a good check after Anyi arrived in Hawaii. The ship was full of wounded people, and the nurses were very busy every day, which made them very tired and comfortable and basically healed. Catherine expressed her willingness to help, and Catherine readily agreed. With Enyi's help, Catherine's workload was reduced by half, which greatly relieved her exhaustion. While Enyi was also taking care of patients, she made many friends. Half a month later, the ship crossed the Pacific Ocean and arrived at the port of Hawaii. All the wounded landed ashore, including the nurses on board. There will be another wave of nurses to replace them. Enyi received a physical examination in the hospital. The doctor found that he was healed, but he didn't care too much. There were too many wounded and the doctor didn't have the energy to pay special attention to him. Enyi took the note issued by the doctor on the ship to the psychiatric department. After a brief questioning, the doctor here diagnosed him as having post-war trauma syndrome. In conclusion, was hospitalized for one month for psychotherapy. In the inpatient department, Anyi saw Catherine again. The two were already very familiar. Anyi was very fond of the girl who had two dimples when she laughed, and invited Catherine to have dinner at a downtown restaurant in Honolulu. After dinner, the two took a walk on the gentle beach, enjoying the gentle sea breeze and the beautiful night. It was a bit late, they didn't return to the hospital, they walked into the hotel as a matter of course 
and had a pleasant and beautiful exchange on the bed. Afterwards, Catherine lay in the man's arms, stroking the gun scars on the solid chest muscles. She told Anyi that she thought Hardy was the most handsome on the boat. In the morning, Catherine went to work in the hospital and lay in bed comfortably. After the little nurse devoted himself to treatment overnight, he felt that his trance symptoms were much better. Anyi once saw someone on the internet saying that love is the best medicine for heart trauma. Now Thuxon believes. Went into the hotel bathroom naked. In the mirror, the man has a strong body, six-back ABS, mermaid line, strong thighs, short black hair, small but deep eyes, naturally with a strong smell. Grinned slightly, and there was a sneer in his smile. No wonder women like it. During the next month of treatment, half a month of ease was spent at the hotel with Catherine. Catherine is a nurse, so she must be a nurse. White hat, stethoscope, silk stockings, vacuum nurse clothes, these are really a perfect match. But the good times are always short, this day a second lieutenant officer finds ease. Sergeant Hardy, your injury has healed, and the military is ready to arrange for you to return to the army and continue to serve. And Yi immediately shook his head. He is now a Chinese soul in his body, and he is absolutely unwilling to sacrifice his life for the Americans. Besides, the battlefield is ruthless. Although he is recovering from injuries much faster than others, he is not dead. The bullet still bleeds when it hits the body, and it will definitely be fatal if the head is blown. He has made up his mind to retire. Ran to the psychiatrist and said that he was still in a trance. The doctor gave him a post-war trauma syndrome certificate, and he left the army with ease. A few days later, he received a poor retirement allowance of several hundred dollars and a battle medal, said goodbye to Catherine in the hotel, and boarded the cruise back to Los Angeles the next day. Where should I go from now on, in fact, I am a bit at a loss now. Because of observing these two months, he found that this world is a bit paradoxical, and many places are different from the world in his memory. In his past life, the President of the United States should be Harris Truman, but now he is an old guy named Johnson. There are many things he knows in this world, and there are also many companies and celebrities he has never heard of. In the newspaper, he also saw some reports. For example, the newspaper reported a few days ago that the Mafia Corleone family leader and godfather Vito Corleone had a grand wedding for his youngest daughter Connie. Seeing this report, and Yi felt a little dazed at the time. Godfather Vito Corleone married his daughter. Isn't this the plot in the movie The Godfather? How would it appear here? The FBI filed a lawsuit against Chicago gang leader Al Capone again. This is the seventh accusation that Capone has faced in his lifetime. I don't know if the Chicago underground emperor will survive this time again. He also read a news report not long ago. The federal court sued Nucky Thompson for tax evasion and sentenced him to 10 years in jail. Nucky Thompson was imprisoned, which caused several major forces in Atlantic City to fall apart and the future direction is unknown. He didn't care at the time, now that I think about it. Isn't this the plot of Empire of Atlantic City? And Yi seriously suspects that he has crossed into the world of film and television. He is going to settle down first and talk about it after he understands the world. The cruise ship arrived in Los Angeles, then took a bus back to his hometown in Orange County, rented a small apartment room to settle down, and a few days later found a job as a waiter in a pub. His working hours are from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., which gives Enyi a lot of time during the day. Get up in the morning for a run and exercise. There is a boxing gym near his home, and he reported his name and went to the gym to practice boxing in the morning. Through this time and space, Enyi also looked forward to whether there is a system mentioned in the novel at the beginning, but it was a pity that it did not appear after waiting for a long time. But he also found that he was different from ordinary people. For example, his physical recovery ability is ten times stronger than that of a normal person. I was aware of this when I was born again. Practicing boxing in the boxing gym will inevitably lead to injuries, muscle strains, swollen eye sockets, 
fist bruises and so on. These minor injuries can be fully recovered after just a nap the next day. Even worked as a sparring partner once, accidentally broken a rib by Garcia, the strongest fighter in the gym, but he basically recovered in just three days. Also, he is much more sensitive to crisis than others, and he doubts whether it is because of the fusion of the two souls. After more than two months of training, the ease of physical fitness, endurance, fighting ability and fighting awareness have been greatly strengthened. UU reading www.uuganshu.com yesterday, when he was playing against Garcia, he couldn't get the guy up in three minutes, his eyes were black and the corners of his mouth were bleeding. Enyi has become the strongest boxer in the gym. The coach advises Enyi to concentrate on boxing. In the future, he may become the best fighter in the United States, and he can also make a lot of money. Enyi thought for a while and finally refused. He has a greater pursuit of the future, but he doesn't want to be just a boxer. In addition to practicing boxing, also occasionally practice guns. His marksmanship is good, and he has developed a very strong fighting quality on the battlefield. His main practice is to draw a spear. When he was in the army, he met a guy from Texas, and Anyi said that he had won the fast gun competition organized by the county. After the two became friends, he taught Hardy his best gun drawing skills. Anyi bought a second-hand Colt revolver for $45. The boss included a holster, and occasionally went to the field to practice the gun. If he was lucky, he could get back a game or two. I live very peacefully, but the world does not stop, moving forward vigorously, and countless major events happen every day. On August 6, 1945, the little boy exploded in Hiroshima, and on August 9, the fat man exploded in Nagasaki. On August 15, Japan announced its unconditional surrender. The letter of surrender was signed on September 2, and the Second World War ended. But these have nothing to do with ease. Now he is just an ordinary American, a tavern worker. The new book sets sail. Please support from the book friends. Every ticket in the collection is the greatest support for Deu. Here, Deu would like to thank you new and old book friends in advance. Good afternoon Tom. Good afternoon Sunny. At the entrance of the working tavern, I just ran into Sunny, who was also an adaptable student. Sunny greeted comfortably and enthusiastically. The two of them worked together for three months and became a good friend. Sunny is of French descent, with long chestnut hair rolled up, not particularly beautiful, but she is young, only 19 years old this year. Said that there are no ugly young women, and Anyi feels that this is indeed the case. The two enter the door together. I changed my clothes and cleaned up. In the afternoon, the guests were sparse. After the night, a large number of guests poured in, and the pub became noisy. The tavern is a mixed place, there are good people, but there are also many bastards. A guy drank too much. When he saw Sani walking by, he grabbed her waist and pulled her on her lap, and she screamed. The other drinkers saw this scene, and no one stood up to stop it, instead they all showed a smirk and watched the excitement. An Yi saw Sunny's horrified look, and glanced at the tavern owner, and found that the tavern owner didn't look at this side at all, and continued to take the beer seriously. After working in the tavern for a few months, An Yi knew that the tavern owner was an asshole. The boss turned a blind eye, but An Yi couldn't watch Sunny being molested. Although the drunkard could not be too much in the crowd, his behavior was already a great insult to a girl. Anyi stepped forward and grabbed Sunny's arm, and pulled her out of the man's arms, go back. Sunny got out of trouble, gave Anyi a grateful look, and quickly ran into the back kitchen. The girl was taken away by Anyi, and the guy who molested Sunny felt shaved, and was very upset. He stared at Anyi angrily, cursing in his mouth, Boy, are you going to die? This is a pub, I want to find a woman to go elsewhere. And Yi replied coldly. The people watching the crowd laughed. Was preached by a bartender. The drunk felt offended and thought people were laughing at him. 
picked up the beer on the table and poured it into ease. Enyi dodged subconsciously, and was not splashed by the alcohol, only a little splashed on his body. Looked at this guy, Enyi turned around and left. Being ignored by Enyi, the guy felt even more uncomfortable. The draft glass in his hand fell to the ground forcefully, and it suddenly shattered into countless pieces with a loud noise. Enyi turned and looked over, the man looked at Enyi with a sly smile, and said with a tilted mouth, Boy, I accidentally smashed the beer glass. Don't worry, I will pay the price. I don't have to do it now. This is your job. Said and pointed to the ground. Enyi brought the broom from the stairway, but when he was sweeping the floor, the guy stepped on the broom and looked at Enyi defiantly. Drinkers around watched with interest what happened here just as watching the excitement. Suddenly, a violent mood rippled in Anyi's mind. After traveling through this world for half a year, Anyi's soul has completely merged with Hardy's soul, which has also changed Anyi's character. Was originally a calm personality, but after integrating Hardy's thinking, he became much wilder than before. Looking up at the drunkard, the ease in his eyes became cold at this moment, and the man's expression was stunned because he saw the strong murderous in the eyes of the young man in front of him, like being stared at by a tiger. This look made him feel afraid. There was a timid thought in his heart. But in the next second, he became even more irritated. How could he let a tavern adapt to frighten him? It made him feel shame. Boy, dare to look at me with such a look. This guy drunk his head and punched a knee round. Boom. Before the drunkard's fist hit Yi Yi, Yi Yi moved, and hit the guy's chin with a fist. The guy was hit and flew out and hit the ground heavily. And Yi stepped forward, riding on the person, pinching the bastard's neck with his left hand, and hitting his face with a sturdy right fist. A violent beating, bleeding from the guy's mouth and nose. The man was still struggling at first, but after a few punches, he collapsed completely to the ground and became like a dead dog. The boss hurried over to pull comfortably. Tom, stop fighting, you will kill him like this. The people in the tavern looked at Anyi in surprise. He didn't expect that this seldom talkative adaptable student would have such a violent temper. If no one stopped him, he would really kill that guy. It was not long before the police arrived. The man was taken to the hospital and taken to the police station comfortably. He was then detained for assault and awaiting trial and sentence. Was detained for about a week before the court opened. In the court, Anyi's lawyer showed a certificate of mental illness, and several witnesses, including the girl Sunny, were found. Because the other party was at fault, the judge finally awarded Anyi to compensate the other party with $350. Indemnity plus attorney's fees, all of the comfortable retirement allowances were all used up at once, and even some things were sold, including the second-hand Colt revolver. He was completely a pauper. The job of adapting to the tavern was also lost. After all, it caused trouble for the boss. Went out to find another job. Everyone refused. The town is not big. People have heard of what happened in the tavern and knew that Anyi was mentally ill. In order to avoid trouble, no one wanted to hire him. Just got home, Anyi saw the girl Sunny standing at the door of the apartment. Tom, thank you for helping me that day, and I also resigned, and I am going to leave Orange County. Sunny said. Where are you going? I saved some money during this time, and I am going to study. You are still young, you really should study, what do you plan to learn? I am going to study law and become a lawyer or a judge in the future. It is because of what happened in the tavern that day that gave me this idea. The girl said. A very good idea, I hope you succeed. Anyi encouraged. Sani O'Connor looked at Anyi, then suddenly stepped forward and gave him a strong hug, then kissed him on the cheek. Thank you again Tom. Goodbye. Goodbye. Looking at Sunny's back, Anyi doesn't know if she will see this girl again in the future. Many people are actually passing by in a flash on the way of your life, and they may never meet again. Lying on the small bed in the apartment, 
thinking comfortably about how to live in the future, Orange County may not be able to stay. At this moment, the landlord came up and called him, and there was his phone number downstairs. And Yi went downstairs to answer the phone, but he didn't expect it to be Bill. Yu Yu reading www.yunshu.com Bill and Hardy were once comrades in the same team, the best brothers. Hardy also saved Bill's life on the battlefield. He was injured in a battle. After he was injured, this guy retired directly and left a year earlier than Hardy. Bill was very enthusiastic on the phone, Brother, I just learned that you were injured and retired. It was hard to find out your contact information. How are you doing now? Not good. And Yi talked about the previous experience and the current situation. I am now penniless and lost my job. To make matters worse, everyone here knows that I am mentally ill, and no one wants to hire me. Bill laughed, it's no big deal, come to Los Angeles, there are a lot of ways to make money. Just like that, I packed my things comfortably and set off for Los Angeles. As soon as he got off the long-distance bus with his suitcase, Bill got out of a Ford next to him, came up and gave Anya a bear hug. After the two separated, he looked at Bill comfortably. Bill had dark blonde hair, clear blue eyes, and the typical short stubble with big cheeks, and he looked seven-point like Brad Pitt. Anya thought, Bill's full name is Bill Pitt. Is also surnamed Pete, isn't it Brad Pitt's grandpa? Ha ha Tom. I finally saw you again. Bill said happily, flapping his comfortable arm. We have been apart for almost two years, you are a lot fatter than before. Peacefully patted Bill's generous back. I am strong or not fat? Bill retorted. Said that he took the suitcase in Enyi's hand and threw it into the back seat of the Ford. The misunderstanding is resolved. Enyi also knows that the guy who had just been shot by him was named Sean and the guy standing at the door of the bedroom was named Ryder. They were all Bill's men. What on earth happened? Knowing that Bill was seriously injured, and Yi asked eagerly. Bill was still undergoing surgery when we came over, and the situation was not good. Give him something and go back. Should we get in the car and say? Sean said. And Yi immediately followed them into the car. Ryder drove. Sean and Anyi sat behind, and told Anyi on the road that Bill had been shot three times. He is now being rescued in a private hospital. The situation is very bad. They went to collect the accounts today. The other party is a Spanish gang leader named Cook. The Jewish gang does not sell drugs, but there is always a need for that. After negotiation, the Spanish gang is allowed to sell goods in the Jewish gang block, and they collect part of the profit. Cook is in charge of selling goods in Bill's block. There are five or six people under him. Bill leads Sean and Ryder to find Cook. Cook is about to delay and even wants to repay the debt. Bill gave a cruel remark, but he didn't expect that library. Kay actually took a gun and gave Bill a few shots. Then the two sides fired a few more shots at each other, and Cook ran away with his men, and the two of them hurriedly took Bill for treatment. Before we came, we asked. That guy Cook lost a lot of money in the underground casino half a month ago, about 10,000 US dollars. It is estimated that he lost all the shares, so he can't get it out. Xiaoen said. At this time, Ryder, who was driving, interjected, I suspect that the guy Cook was a fan and was a little unconscious, otherwise he couldn't be so crazy. And you remembered that Bill said this morning that he would charge a large sum of money, $5,000, which should be the share. I didn't expect an accident. The car quickly arrived at the private clinic. The three of them entered, and Sean stopped a passing female nurse, Miss Nurse, how is Bill? The doctor is still performing an operation and is taking the bullet in his stomach. He bleeds a lot. I don't know if he can save it. The female nurse turned around and went into the rescue room. After waiting for about half an hour, the door of the rescue room finally opened, and a middle-aged doctor and two nurses pushed out the bed. Bill was lying on the bed, his face pale, his eyes closed and he didn't react at all. 
Dr. Murphy, how is Bill? Sean asked. Dr. Murphy pushed his glasses and glanced at Bill, all three bullets have been taken out, and the wound has been treated, but his injuries are too serious and he has lost too much blood. I am afraid that the chance of surviving is only 30%. I have tried my best, and I have done everything I can do. Then it's up to God's will. Pushed the bed into the next ward, and the nurse gave Bill an infusion. And ye looked at Bill with a pale face, feeling very uncomfortable. The two had been fighting together for three years, and Bill was his best brother. Knowing that I was not doing well, I immediately called myself to Los Angeles to help myself live here, but now I am injured and dying. After the nurse settled down, she looked at the three comfortable people in the room, and said impatiently, You go out, you are of no use to the patient here, maybe it will bring germs. The three were kicked out of the ward. In the yard, Xiao En handed An Yi a cigarette. Do you know where that cook lives? An Yi asked after taking a deep breath. Yes, before 379 Brown Avenue, a two-story building. Sean said. What does that cook look like? Bald head, in his forties, easy to recognize, why are you asking this? Ryder asked An Yi. An Yi did not explain. After the three of them smoked, Sean said to An Yi, We are going back to report to the boss about Bill's matter, what about you Tom? Let's go, I am here to accompany Bill again. An Yi said. Sean and Ryder drove away. At this moment, it is completely dark outside. The surrounding lights are on. There was wind in the evening. It's a bit cold on the face. An Yi came to Bill's ward again. The nurse had already gone out. Only Bill was left in the room. He was lying on the bed quietly, breathing weak and his face pale. Walked comfortably to the bed, patted Bill's face, and said solemnly, Bill, go through it. You didn't want your life on the battlefield. It would be a shame to die in the hands of a bastard. Brother, you rest here with peace of mind. What you haven't completed, I will help you complete and I will let the other party pay enough. After speaking, he turned and left the ward. Stopped a taxi on the road and quickly returned to Bill's house. Opened the sofa, revealing two Colt M1911 pistols underneath. Insert the magazine and pull the bolt firmly. Crack. The bullet is loaded. Two guns on the coffee table, turned off the lights, quietly sitting on the sofa in the living room. I don't know how long it took. Dang dang dang. The clock rang. A total of twelve sounds. Is exactly twelve o'clock in the morning. An Yi got up, grabbed two guns from the coffee table and inserted them into the back waist, and took two more magazines into his pocket. Took off his hat from the coat rack and fastened it on his head, lowered it slightly, and opened the door to go out. Brown Street. In the shadows. An Yi looked at the small building opposite. It was half past one in the morning, and the surroundings were silent. An Yi came to the back fence, put his hand on the fence, jumped in, silently landed on the lawn in the courtyard. Came to the door of the backyard and turned the doorknob slightly. Plugged in. I came to the window and looked at it. There was a faint light inside, which should be a bright light in the living room. I pushed the window and didn't open it. I walked to another window. Inside was the kitchen. I pushed the sliding window and there was movement. Slowly lifted the window, got in comfortably and flexibly, stepped on the stove and fell into the house. There is a corridor outside the kitchen, and several rooms on both sides, comfortably close to the door to listen, there is a strong snoring sound inside. Cautiously came to the living room. The living room was lit but there was no one. He went to the front door and opened the latch so that he could escape at any time. Took off his hat and hung it on the coat rack at the door. Drew two pistols from behind, opened the safety, the bullets were loaded, and comfortably opened one of the room doors. On the bed, a guy is sleeping soundly. The pistol is raised. Boom. The bullet directly penetrated the man's head and the bed sheet was stained red by the violent blood mist. 
the guy on the bed shuddered slightly and then he didn't move. The gunshots awakened the others, and a few people rushed out of the other room, holding the guy in their hands, but as soon as the door opened, they were greeted by a dense rain of bullets. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. There was a loud gunshot in the villa, and the four people rushing out of the room were all shot in the chest and abdomen and fell to the ground. And Yi glanced at these guys, there is no bald head, it seems that Cook is not among these people. Just when Anyi thought of Cook, there was a slight noise from upstairs. Anyi felt her energy tightened and a sense of danger came. Fell forward without hesitation. Boom! With a huge gunshot, a big hole was punched in the wall next to Anyi, and the gravel splashed his face. Cook slept upstairs. Because of his many enemies, he was very alert on weekdays. He woke up immediately after hearing the gunshots. He grunted to the bedside and reached for the spear on the cabinet. This is a Winchester M1887 lever type shotgun. It uses a number 12 shotgun. It is powerful. It was once Megatron in the West. In the Terminator movie, Schwarzenegger used this gun against the T800 robot. Moved the lever bullet to click and load it, and Cook rushed out of the room in his pajamas. Through the gap in the stairs, he saw a figure. He couldn't help saying that raising his hand was a shot. The thing was that the guy escaped ahead of time. Asshole, I must kill you. Crack boom. Crack boom. Cook shot while walking down, and a big hole was blasted out of the corner of the comfortable escape. Because the opponent's firepower was too fierce, he was suppressed. With a turn of his mind, he looked at the corpse on the ground comfortably lifted up a guy and threw it out forcefully. When Cook saw the figure rushing out of it, he immediately raised the gun and pulled the trigger. Boom! The shot hit the corpse, and flesh and blood splashed. The lights were dim, and Cook didn't even see who the corpse was. Attracted Cook's firepower, and Yi finally found a chance, flew out of the corner sideways, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganchu. There are a few shots of the comm pistol on the stairs. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Screamed. Cook was shot twice. One shot hit his stomach and the other hit his gun arm. Cook fell to the ground, his shotgun fell on the stairs, and rolled down. An Yi stood up, raised his gun and walked towards Cook. Cook finally saw the person coming. He was a young man who didn't know him. He looked at him coldly, and he could feel the strong killing intent on him. Don't, don't kill me. Cook held his stomach in pain and pleaded. And Yi looked at bald Cook coldly, haha, does Bill know that he is my brother? Cook finally knew who was going to kill himself. I can give you money, all, don't kill. Bang. Before Cook finished speaking, and Yi shot him in the head. He is not interested in talking nonsense with the enemy. Looked up at the room, there was blood everywhere in the corridor, on the walls, and in the stairwell. Six corpses lay all over the place, making it look like a Shura field. Killed six people, and Yi didn't feel any discomfort, even because of the adrenaline secretion in the fight just now, he was a little excited. For more than half a year, the soul of Ease has completely merged with the soul of Tom Hardy. Tom is a guy who has experienced the real war slaughter field, and the current situation is just a small scene for him. Came to Cook's room, comfortably turned on the light, opened several drawers of the boss desk, searched, and found a wad of money in one drawer. P.S. Brothers passing by, order a collection. If you have a vote, please vote for two, thank you. $10, $20, $50. Hundred dollars. There are all kinds of denominations, all of which are old banknotes. And you guessed that the money was used to sell fans. It is estimated that the 5,000 US dollars is only a lot more, and he puts it directly into the pocket of his coat. In the cabinet, and you also found an exquisite box, opened it and placed a brand new gold watch, to see that the logo was Rolex. 
This gold Rolex watch is a new model that was just launched in 1945. It is made of gold from the frame to the strap. It is the ancestor of the Rolex gold watch. It was sought after by countless people as soon as it came out, and the price reached more than 1,500 US dollars. A proper luxury. I was in the Orange County bar before, and there was a customer showing off to his friends. And ye just happened to see it, and now he recognized it. This watch is very new, the bags are still on it, I guess that cook is not willing to wear it yet. I just missed a watch. The cash was taken for Bill, and treat this watch as his own harvest tonight. Put the box into his pocket. He didn't dare to delay too much. There was too much movement here, and someone would definitely call the police. It is estimated that the police will come soon. The pistol was inserted into the back, and he walked downstairs quickly. Took off his hat from the coat rack, lowered the brim and went out from the front door, flashed by a street lamp, and soon disappeared into the darkness. Ten minutes after leaving comfortably, a police car pulled a siren and stopped at the door of the villa. The three policemen got out of the car and approached the gate cautiously with their guns. Open the door. The tragic scene in the villa shocked the police. There was blood everywhere in the room, and several corpses fell to the ground in all directions. The walls were full of bullet marks. At first sight, they went through a fierce gun battle. Notify the FBI immediately that a major incident has occurred here. Waiting for the FBI people to come over, many reporters have gathered on the street and kept taking pictures inside. The FBI personnel conducted an on-site survey and concluded that the gunman was probably only one person. As for other circumstances, it is completely unknown, and there is no clue of any value. Asked the neighbors around, but no one saw anything. After all, it was around 1 a.m. and everyone was asleep. 3.30 in the morning. The police carried the body and left. The FBI recorded the case as a major first-degree murder, and then evacuated. Ring ling ling. The phone rang in the bedroom of an apartment. Click. The lamp is turned on. Fred looked at the clock on the wall. It was 3.30 in the morning. Fred is more than 40 years old this year, his cheeks are as sharp as a knife, and he is mature and capable. He is the boss of the Jewish gang in Los Angeles. He manages more than 200 members of the Jewish gang. He is definitely a man of Los Angeles. The Jewish gang occupies some of the most prosperous neighborhoods in Los Angeles, owns three underground casinos, operates loan sharks and smuggling businesses, and controls the supply of drinks to five nightclubs and dozens of bars in the jurisdiction, earning two to three million dollars a year. Profit The phone is still ringing, Fred picked up the phone, and the second-in-command Alan Payne's voice came from inside, I just got news that someone entered Cook's house in the early hours of the morning and killed Cook and his five men. Fred was taken aback for a while. The subordinates reported to him in the evening that Bill, a small boss in the gang, was seriously injured by Cook of the Spanish gang when he was collecting the accounts. His life is unknown. Fred asked about the situation and went to the hospital to take a look at Bill. And ye had already left at that time. After coming back, I discussed with some of his subordinates, and planned to see Bill's situation tomorrow, and then decide how to deal with it. I didn't expect such a thing to happen at night. Who did it? Fred asked. Do not know. Aren't they ours? No, I have asked all of my staff, and they have said that they have not done it. Fred was even more surprised. Who would it be if someone who is not ours, do you know other things? I learned from the police that the FBI surveyed the scene and determined that there was only one gunman. Alan Payne said. Fred was slightly surprised, one person kills Cook six. Yes, that's what the police said. Hanging up the phone, Fred looked at the wall and thought, if it was a person who killed Cook, then that person is indeed very powerful. But who is this person? What is the origin? Fred's wife turned around and put her arms around the man and asked, Fred, what happened? Fred kissed the woman's hair, it's okay, my dear, 
it's just a small problem, go to bed, and I'll deal with it tomorrow. Morgue, Cook's body was lying on the cold bed, his face was pale and colorless, and there were two deadly bullet holes in his forehead and abdomen. Danny, with a cigar in his mouth, looked at Cook's corpse, his face full of anger. Danny is the leader of the Spanish gang in Los Angeles. His gang name is Red Danny. Danny is slightly obese. He is in his fifties this year, but for men, his fifties are the most powerful age. Danny has worked hard in Los Angeles for many years. There are more than 100 people under his staff, occupying two blocks, operating bars, nightclubs, Jiyuan, underground boxing arena, casino clubs and other businesses, and their biggest business is the sale of coca powder. Cook is Donnie's more effective subordinate, responsible for part of the drug sales, and can give him tens of thousands of dollars in profits every month. Now his capable man has become a corpse, which makes him very angry. Who killed Cook? Danny asked in a hoarse voice. It is likely that the Jewish gang did it. A middle-aged man behind Danny said, This person is Donnie's army instructor Burstein. Jewish gang. Danny frowned deeply. The Jewish gang is the biggest power in Los Angeles, followed by the Irish, and then the Spanish. Other forces include Mexicans, Chinese gangs, and small groups of Russians, Polish and French descent. I just found someone to understand that Cook lost a lot of money in our casino some time ago, and now he still owes a lot of money to the casino. Burstein explained. Yesterday the Jewish gang asked Cook to be divided, and Cook prepared to delay. For this reason, the two sides clashed. Cook sucked fans and shot and wounded a small Jewish gang leader in excitement. The attack happened in the evening. Donnie's face was extremely gloomy, biting his cigar hard, and suffocating for a long time, damn it. I don't know if this sentence is cursing Cook or the Jewish gang. Leaving the morgue. Danny returned to the mansion with Sergeant Burstein, and the two lit up cigars and poured a glass of whiskey. Danny pondered for a while, seeming to make up his mind, and said to Burstein in a deep voice, I want to get rid of the Jewish gang. In addition to businesses such as loan sharks, casino clubs, bars, nightclubs, Jiyuan, and underground boxing grounds, Red Donny's biggest source of income is coca powder which can bring him nearly $1 million in income every year, two or three times that of other businesses. He occupies a small territory. The Jewish gang has the largest territory in Los Angeles, but the Jewish gang has banned drug trafficking. This gave Danny a chance. He found the Jewish gang boss Fred and was willing to take a large profit as a share. Only allow them to enter the site to sell goods. To this end, he would give three to four hundred thousand dollars to the Jewish gang every year. Danny has been very upset about this huge protection fee. Hearing Donnie's words, Burstein was shocked and frowned, the Jewish gang is very strong, and we are not opponents at all. Danny sneered, I have considered that we can cooperate with the Irish, and even bring in Mexicans, Chinese, Russians, and Poles. UU reading www.uuganshu.com will work together against the Jews. As long as we unite these people, we are fully capable of killing those Jews and then carve up their turf, we can have more bars, nightclubs, sell more coca powder, make more money, and don't have to give the Jews. Divide. Danny said that the prospects are attractive, but Burstein is still worried. But behind the Jews there is an Italian mafia. The Mafia. Danny groaned. Today's Italian Mafia is absolutely thriving in the United States, but Danny seems to have already thought about it. So we want to draw the Irish, the Irish are enough to contend with the Mafia, and there is hatred between them, otherwise, how could we call ourselves the White Hand? The main power of the Mafia is on the East Coast, with its base camp in New York as well as Chicago, Detroit, Denver, Kansas, and Philadelphia. The Irish on the West Coast are more powerful. When Fred brought people to Los Angeles a few years ago, the Irishman was actually the most annoyed because he was a nail that the Mafia penetrated into the West Coast. We provoke conflicts between the Irish and the Jews, 
join hands to kill the Jewish gang, and divide the interests. As for the Mafia, it is entirely possible for the Irish to deal with it, and we can hide behind. I have to say that Danny is also a very smart guy. Army Master Burstein thought for a while, and felt that Donnie's idea was indeed workable, and even if it was unsuccessful, it would not lose much. How are you going to do it? Danny snorted a cigar and said with a smile on his face, Burstein, help me have an appointment with an Irishman. Okay, I'll arrange it at dawn. After killing Cook, he walked home comfortably. When passing by the Los Angeles River, he took out the gun, dismantled it skillfully, and threw the parts into the river. Destroy the evidence. Even if someone accuses him of murder in the future, as long as he cannot find the tools to commit the crime, his crime will be greatly reduced, and it is even possible to be found not guilty. Took out the watch box, put a gold Rolex watch on his wrist, and threw the box far into the river. Perfect. Going back to Bill's house, comfortably turned on the stove and burned all the clothes on his body. Unfortunately, this new suit and woolen coat were only worn for a few days, and it cost him more than $70. I washed away my blood in the bathroom, and I felt comfortable lying on the bed. On the battlefield before, it was not a lifetime of nine deaths in a battle, and I couldn't rest well after the battle, how comfortable it is now. I don't know what happened to Bill. Wait until dawn to see him again, hoping that the brothers can survive, no matter what, he is considered revenge for Bill. And Yi quickly went to bed, and when he opened his eyes, it was already more than nine o'clock in the morning. Got up to wash, went out to find a restaurant to order, and asked for a newspaper. Opened the newspaper, and the headline on the front page immediately attracted him. There was a gunfight on Brown Street and six people were killed in the gunfight. The newspaper is equipped with photos of police carrying body bags and loading cars. The report later stated that all six of the dead were members of Spanish gangsters. It is speculated that it was caused by gang vendettas. This incident may trigger a new round of gang conflicts in Los Angeles, reminding the general public attention when traveling. I remembered that I also interviewed the chief of the police, who said that he would catch the murderer and protect the people of Los Angeles. And Yi came to the newspaper shelf, and flipped through several newspapers today, and found that they all had reports on the shooting last night. He took a closer look at the content. There was not much useful information in the newspapers, but some newspapers mentioned that the FBI investigation should be committed by one person. At this time, An Yi heard a few guests talking next to her. Hey, did you read this morning's news, six people from the Spanish gang were killed. Of course I read, the headlines of every newspaper in Los Angeles are all this news. I know that Cook, a very fierce guy. I heard that he can be counted in the Red Danny gang. I didn't expect to be beaten to death like this. I don't know who offended him. It is written in the newspaper that one person killed six, and the murderer is really powerful. Who else can it be? It must be done by other gangs. Maybe there will be gang fires and fights in the future. The police should take care of it, right? Police, hee <laughs> hee, do you think they will really maintain public order and protect the safety of the people as they said in the newspaper? They are more good at collecting money. Murphy's Private Clinic Ward Bill opened his eyes slowly. Sean and Ryder stood by. Seeing Bill woke up and jumped excitedly, Ryder said excitedly, Boss, you finally woke up. I'm really afraid you will meet God. Snap. Sean slapped Ryder. You can't say something nice. Ryder touched the back of his head innocently. Bill didn't care, and smiled weakly and said, God may not like me very much, and he doesn't want to talk to me at all. Sean asked Ryder to call the doctor and Dr. Murphy would come over soon. Checked on Bill. After the examination, Dr. Murphy nodded and said, Congratulations on your survival. Yesterday I was really not sure that you could carry it. Fortunately, you are in good health. If you cultivate for three or four months, you will live again, but you have to be careful in the future. 
you are not so lucky every time. Thank you, Dr. Murphy. Bill thanked him. Dr. Murphy left the ward, Bill looked at the door, and whispered to Sean, People are gone, give me a cigarette. Boss, the doctor doesn't allow smoking. Sean said. Don't talk nonsense, if people can't live happily, it's better to die. Bill cursed. Sean lighted a good cigarette and handed it to Bill. Bill took a sip, probably because he was in a hurry. He coughed twice suddenly, and his wound was aching. Fack, Cook, attacked Lao Tzu unexpectedly, and I must find him to take revenge when Lao Tzu gets better. Bill cursed. Boss, Cook is dead. Ryder said. Bill was taken aback, Cook is dead, what's the matter? Sean took out a newspaper from his pocket, opened it and handed it to Bill. The newspaper recorded that the Spanish gang leader Cook and his five men were all killed at home, suspecting that it was caused by the gang conflict. Bill looked at Sean after reading, is it done by a helper? Sean shook his head. It should not be. In the early hours of the morning, the upper echelon asked us if we did it. I still don't know who did it. But I have to say that the person who did it was really amazing. He killed the library by himself. Graham six people. Sean's tone was full of reverence. And ye had breakfast, came to the private clinic again, opened the door of the ward, and saw that Bill was chatting with Sean Ryder, and he was delighted. Bill, you are awake. And ye walked quickly to the bed. Tom, you are here. Very happy to see my brother Bill. Take a look at Bill's complexion. Although his face is pale, he seems to be in good spirits, so he shouldn't be able to die. Looking at you like that yesterday, I'm really afraid you will die. And Yi patted Bill on the shoulder, and said, taking out an envelope from his pocket. Congratulations on coming back to life again, I brought you a present. What is this? Bill looked at the envelope in surprise. Money. Because this thing hurt you, I helped you get it back. Bill took the big envelope and opened it. There were colorful banknotes inside. There were ten, twenty, and one hundred dollars. Bill thought of something. Tom, you killed Cook. Bill asked in surprise. And ye did not deny it. He touched my brother, I must make him pay the price and do your job for you. Looking at the envelope, Bill was very moved. I was injured, and my brother ran to avenge himself and killed Cook and his gang. This is the true brotherhood of life and death. Sean and Ryder looked at ease and were shocked. It turned out that Tom did Cook's affairs. He asked Cook for the address last night, and he seemed to have an idea. Broke into the other's premises alone killing six people in a row without injury. Amazing. Deserves to be a person who has survived on the battlefield. Bill smiled at Anyi, did you think I was dying yesterday, so you ran to avenge me? The doctor said you only have a 30% chance of surviving. Anyi said. If I die, it will be useless if you get the money. Bill smiled. I will burn it for you. Burn it to me, what do you mean? Bill was a little surprised. Obviously, Bill didn't quite understand the Chinese-style memorial method of burning paper and burning objects for the deceased. Bill wanted to move, and he was involved in the wound. He frowned because of the pain. Sean and Ryder hurriedly lifted him up and leaned against the head of the bed. You two go out first. Tom and I have something to say. By the way, you are not allowed to tell anyone about Cook, you know. Sean and Ryder nodded out of the ward. What are you going to tell me? And ye asked. Bill looked at ease and said, Tom, I have something to ask you. What's happening? The doctor said that I will lie in bed for three or four months. The site I am responsible for needs to be taken care of. I want to ask you to help me. Bill said. You let me join the gang. And ye didn't expect Bill to repeat the old story. You can join temporarily, or you can quit after I get better, or I'm afraid that when I get better, the current sight will be gone. Bill said. 
Aren't there Sean and Ryder? Bill shook his head, they can't, Sean can settle the bill, but he is too courageous, Ryder is impulsive and brainless, they need a head that can lead them, and now only you are the most suitable. If I don't manage for three months, my sight will definitely be taken by others. When I get better, I am afraid I will start again, and the previous efforts will be wasted. You know that I just bought a new house for my family, and I still owe a lot of money to the bank. If the site is lost and no income, my parents and brothers and sisters can only go back to the old house in the country. Bill looked at ease, with requests in his eyes. UU reading www.uuganshu.com Think about it for a while, anyway, I haven't found a suitable job, then help Bill, I can help you manage it for a period of time, but will your gang agree? Bill smiled immediately, I'll talk about this. Just as Bill was talking to Anyi, another group of people came from the private clinic, the Jewish leader Fred, and his seconding command Alan Payne came over. Sean and Ryder were smoking in the corridor, when they saw the two big guys coming over and hurriedly threw down the cigarettes and stepped on them. How is Bill? Alan asked. I'm awake, Dr. Murphy is no longer a serious problem, just three or four months of cultivation. Xiao En quickly replied. Everyone came to the ward, pushed the door open, and saw the ease in the room. Fred and Alan Payne are very strange to ease, and they both raised their eyes to look at him. Bill introduced immediately, Mr. Fred, Mr. Alan, this is my best brother Tom Hardy. By the way, Cook's money has been recovered, and Tom helped me to recover it. He picked up the big envelope on the bed. Fred heard the meaning of Bill's words, Cook's thing was done by the young man in front of him. Carefully look at Ease's young and handsome appearance, he has a strong and sturdy temperament on his body. If one person kills Cook's six, he must be good. A friend was bullied, and he brazenly took revenge for his friend, and acted decisively and decisively. He admires such young people very much. Tom Hardy, I see a trait from you. I feel that you are very suitable for the underworld, how about it, are you interested in joining the Jewish gang? Fred took the initiative to solicit. I see a trait from you, I feel that you are very suitable for the underworld's business, and Yi was a little confused when he heard this sentence, and a certain movie clip flashed in his mind. Old Ghost Hong, young man, I see your excellency from head to toe, there is no place where the shape of a beggar is not revealed. Such a hearken, so what? It means your excellency is destined to beg for a lifetime. Cut, I won't tell you any more, I want to sleep for a while first. Don't go first, you will be the top pick. If I read it right, you will be the overlord of beggars. The overlord of beggars? What is that? Still a beggar. The Jewish gang leader in front of him actually said that he has the characteristics of being a gang member. Is it related to his name? Tom Hardy. H.D. Will he become the overlord of the gang? The boss made a word to solicit Tom, which made Bill very happy, and quickly said, I want Tom to help me. He is my best brother. I want him to take care of my affairs. Yes, I agree. Fred agreed. And Yi didn't say a word, the matter was decided. That's all, and Yi joined the Jewish gang. Of course, is only counted as peripheral members. Bill picked up the envelope on the bed and said to Fred, Boss, Tom helped me get the share back and turn it in now. Said and passed the money. Alan Payne, the second in command, took the money that Bill handed over, opened it and counted it. $6,800, the split should be 5,000, the number is 1,008 more than the split. Alan said after counting. Fred took the money, took $1,000 from it and handed it to Bill. This thousand is a revenue share. Bill glad to take it. This money is not only his own, but also Sean and Ryder according to the rules. Fred counted a thousand and passed it over, this thousand is for your treatment. You are injured when you work for the gang, and the treatment costs are sent to the gang. Thank you, boss. 
Bill accepted the money gratefully. Fred counted another $1,800, but this time it was handed to Anyi, who looked at the Jewish gangster for a moment. Fred smiled, Cook only owes us $5,000, and the more belongs to you. Anyi found that the Jewish leader was very open and bright. He was divided into two groups, sickness relief money, and 1,800 yuan for him. The whole thing was done in a reasonable and atmospheric manner. You're welcome took the money. Fred smiled, satisfied with his ease. At this time, Bill said, Boss, what about Cook, what about the Spaniards? Fred waved his hand and said solemnly, You don't have to worry about this matter, I will be responsible. Cook is the fault of the whole matter. It is they who broke the rules first. I will settle this matter. If they can't cooperate well, I don't mind stopping the Spaniards' business. There are many gangs who want to sell goods in the Jewish gang, and there is no shortage of Spaniards. After a few more chats, Fred left with seconding command Alan, and Bill smiled and looked at Anyi, Brother, I'll take care of you next. Turned his head and said to Sean and Ryder, You two guys cooperate with Tom to do things well. You must know that in the Marine Corps, he was my leader. Sean and Ryder had already admired Anyi in their hearts. As soon as they met before, Anyi grabbed the gun empty-handed and restrained them both. It was one person who wiped out Cook and the group last night. They only have respect for such a powerful person. How can they dare to make a mistake? Don't worry, boss, we must do things well. The two guys said in unison. Fred and seconding command Alan returned to the villa, thought about picking up the phone, and calling Danny, the leader of the Spanish gang. Danny heard that Fred was looking for him, his eyes narrowed, and after taking the phone, he said a little angrily, Fred, did your people kill Cook? Cook is my most powerful subordinate, six of them died all at once, six. To tell the truth, Cook's death, Danny, is indeed a little distressed. He is also number 110, and six of them died at once, which is definitely not a small loss. Danny. You broke the rules first. I don't know if Cook did that. Is it because of your instruction? Red Danny is ready to cancel cooperation with us and turn into opposition. Fry said in a bad tone. Donnie's momentum stagnated. This is by no means my instruction. Danny replied. Danny, if you still want to continue to cooperate, then you have to abide by the rules, and those who want to break the rules, you know the end of the game better than me. If you want to play tricks, we have a way to deal with it. Danny took a deep breath, trying to suppress his emotions. Well Fred, I admit that Cook did not do the right thing. He is dead, and you have taken the money back. This is the end of this matter. How about we continue our previous cooperation? Fred had already expected the result to be like this, with a chuckle on his face and said in a light tone, Danny, making money is very important, and rules are also very important. I hope there will be no next time. I see. Danny replied in a low tone. Click. The black handset fell heavily on the phone holder. Donnie's face was full of anger. Since he became the boss of Red Danny, no one dared to talk to himself like this anymore, but today he has been taught a lesson picked up the cigar in the ashtray and took a hard sip. You must kill the Jews, you must. Turned his head to look at the soldier Burstein next to him, is it tonight to meet the Irishman? Yes, at eight o'clock tonight in the Irish Hoffman Bar. Military instructor Burstein said. Danny thought for a while, and said to Burstein, you continue to contact Mexicans, Chinese people and other gangs in Los Angeles. I don't want to delay for a day. Okay, I'll get in touch now. After Burstein left, Danny walked to the window. His office was on the 18th floor of a building with a view of Beverly Hills. I want to master the entire underground world of Los Angeles, just like Al Capone, and become the king of a city. There is a famous saying, ambition makes people extremely poor and vicious. Donnie's ambitions are constantly growing and swelling 
for which he is willing to take risks. Night falls. A brand new car parked in front of the bar. Danny and Sergeant Burstein got out of the car, followed by two men. Looked up at the signboard, Hoffman Bar. As soon as they entered the door, someone greeted them and prepared to search them. Donnie's two men looked forward with ill-faced faces, and the two sides immediately confronted each other. Danny waved his hand to let him go down, picked up his clothes and let him check. They didn't come to fight, so they didn't bring weapons at all. Mr. Danny, Mr. Burstein, I'll take you to see the boss, please follow me. After finishing speaking, he led the way. The two came to a private room, where there were already two people sitting. The old Simi Weiss of the Los Angeles Irish Gang's North Shore Gang, and his deputy Bogus Moran. Hemi Weiss has a long face with a British moxie dry head shape, which makes his face look longer and even a little funny. But throughout Los Angeles, you you reading www. Yun Shu. However, no one dared to laugh at this young man, who was only 28 years old, because he was the leader of the Irish and controlled several blocks of Los Angeles. Irish people are known for their cruelty and sometimes unscrupulous things, so they are not as famous in the way as Italians and Jews, but because of this notoriety, others dare not provoke them easily. Hemiway stood up with a smile, and shook hands with Danny. Danny, you said on the phone that you have a very important thing to talk to me, what kind of thing, do you want to sell cocoa powder on my site, you know that I also have that business. Wes, are you interested in getting the juice site? Danny said straight to the point. The smile on Hemiway's face was certain, and his eyes turned deep to look at Danny. Danny, what do you want to do? I want revenge. Danny said. Hemiways frowned, just for a cook, are you going to go to war with the Jewish gang? Donnie's smile disappeared, gritted his teeth and said, it's not just for cook, but also for business. My current cocoa business has millions of profits every year, but it has to be divided into about half of the Jewish people. They don't have to do anything, and we have to risk losing our heads. This is very unfair. Cook just quarreled with the other party because of a problem, and they sent someone to kill six of my men. Afterwards, Fred called me again and threatened me, blaming all the blame on us. This irritates me very much. Wes, if we form an alliance, we can completely kill the Jewish gang. After success, our Red Danny will only have 40% of the territory and property, and the rest will be given to the North Bank gang. How about? Danny looked at Hemi Weiss after speaking. What are you going to do? Wes asked, looking at Danny. Squeeze. First squeeze the Jewish gang's business, including their nightclubs, bars, underground casinos, as well as the loan shark business, smuggling business, consume their strength, and finally strike out in one fell swoop, completely wiped out. Danny said. Have you thought about the Jewish guy's counterattack? Weiss asked. Danny smiled slightly, in the beginning, we don't have to be so blatant, just come a little bit, find someone to smash their nightclubs, bars. Robbery of wine trucks, or even robbing of casinos, you can also use customs to disrupt the smuggling business of the Jewish gang. If these methods are used, I believe those Jewish men will be burnt. Although the brown bear is very large and ferocious, if its body becomes riddled with holes, it will not be so ferocious. You say yes, Himmy. Weiss took a sip of the whiskey on the table, pondered for a while, with a smile on his face when he raised his head. Danny, I think your plan is good, and I agree to cooperate with you. He stretched out his hand to Danny. Seeing Wes's promise, Danny was very happy. The most important step of the plan has been taken, and he seemed to see victory beckoning him. Shook hands with Weiss. The two reached an agreement. Formed a temporary alliance to deal with the Jewish gang together. Danny left with the military division, his deputy, Bogus Moran, looked at Weiss and asked, Hami, do you believe him? Hemiways chuckled and spit out a cigar. How could I believe him, 
Danny has never been a man of love and righteousness, and revenge for his men is all bullshit. As for the business and the sight, it is indeed possible, but he does not have such a big appetite. He came to us. The biggest possibility is to provoke us to fight against the Jewish gang. In the end, when both parties are exhausted, he will sit back. Prophet, take the opportunity to grow bigger. Then you promised to form an alliance with him. Moran asked slightly surprised. Hemiway spread his hands, it's just calculating each other. We and the Jews are always enemies. Why don't you take advantage of this opportunity to make a fuss, maybe you can see the benefits. Danny wants to use us, why am I using him, haha. <laughs> Bugs Moran also laughed with Hemi, raised his glass and touched Wes, and the two took a happily sip. Work hard in the underworld, no one is a fool, the mind is not worse than those politicians, otherwise it would not be able to survive. Danny has his own purpose, why doesn't Wes have his own ideas? It just depends on who performs better. In the car. Danny smiled and said to the Sergeant Burstein, You see, the Irish are not difficult to deal with. They have always hated the Jews, and they will never let it go as long as they have the opportunity. Burstein, how are the other gangs contacting? The Mexican side has already made contact. I will meet the Mexican boss tomorrow. The Chinese people may be later. Their boss has gone to San Francisco and will not be back in a few days. As for the Russians and the Poles, you don't need to come forward. I can talk to them. I want to give some small profits, and they will rush to the front and work for us. Danny nodded. Looking at the bustling neon lights on both sides of the street outside the car window, he seemed to see that the whole city would become his land, and he would become the king here. The next day, Enyi officially went to work. Sean and Ryder drove over to pick him up. They drove for half an hour to the slum area and stopped in front of a large iron gate. Sean honked his horn. The door opened a small hole. Someone looked out, and Xiao En waved at the person, and then the door opened. The car drove in and parked in the yard which was a row of warehouses. Xiao En smiled and said to Anyi, Tom, this is the gang warehouse, and all tobacco and alcohol are stored here. We are in charge of the block, there are a total of seven pubs and two nightclubs. We get the invoices every evening. The next morning we come here to pick up the goods and distribute the tobacco and alcohol. The pubs settle with us once a week, and we also pay every Monday. Account. A strong man came over, greeted Sean and Ryder, and then looked at Ease. Sean said with a smile, This is Tom Hardy, the brother of Bill's boss. From now on he will be responsible for our affairs. Tom, this is Benson, the deputy head of the warehouse. Enyi stretched out his hand and shook hands with Benson to get to know each other. A few people walked to the warehouse, Benson asked, How is Bill? I have been out of danger, it will take about two or three months to recover. Xiao En said. Benson asked curiously again, by the way, who did Spain help cook? Do you know? Many people are discussing that matter now. That person is really fierce. One person kills cook and a group of people. Xiao En glanced at Anyi quietly, then smiled and said, I don't know this, it may be done by a high evil person. Before Fred left, he told Anyi and others that the murder of Cook should not be publicized for the time being, mainly to protect Anyi's personal safety. Ease doesn't want to be famous, but safety is the most important thing. Naturally, he agrees with Fred's arrangement. All Sean lied to Benson. Entering the warehouse, Sean took out the list and started stocking. Wine, whiskey, rum, vodka, brandy, tequila, Fruit wine. Cigarettes include Marlboro, Camel, 35 cigarettes, and various cigars. Someone started to move goods into the car. Sean and Ryder were responsible for the inventory. After everything was loaded into the car, Sean asked Anyi to sign the bill. Anyi looked at it and found that the price actually reached more than 3,000 US dollars. In 1945, 
the monthly salary of an ordinary worker was only about $200. These cigarettes and alcohol are equivalent to the salary of an ordinary worker for one and a half years. This is just the amount they are responsible for the block for a day. Farewell and Benson drove out of the warehouse, and Yi asked Xiao En, are these alcohol and tobacco products genuine? Of course, they are all good things. Sean said. Then how do we make money, and raise prices for pubs and nightclubs? And Yi asked inexplicably. Sean smiled, of course not, our tobacco and alcohol are even cheaper than market prices. What do you rely on to make money? Smuggling tax evasion, UU reading www.uuganshu.com, you don't know how high the federal government's tax rate on tobacco and alcohol is. It is 40% to 50% lower, and even higher than 100%. If we go through the proper channels, we won't make any money at all. Money. We evade taxes on domestic tobacco and alcohol. Foreign imported tobacco and alcohol are all smuggled goods. Our gang has its own smuggling channels. Even the tobacco and alcohol from other sites are purchased from us. Although the profits of tobacco and alcohol are not as good as during the prohibition period, smuggled goods still make money, and the more expensive the more profitable. And Yi was very interested in gangster American movies in the previous world. He had watched almost all the movies. For this reason, he had also studied gangster culture. He knew that the rise of American gangsters was caused by prohibition. During the prohibition period, the gang sold a lot of bootleg alcohol, obtained sufficient funds, and began to grow wildly. Later the prohibition on alcohol was lifted, but the bootleg business is still an important economic income of the gang, but they have turned from bootlegging to smuggling tax evasion. Will the state administration of taxation not pursue it? And Yi asked. Of course it will be investigated. The Internal Revenue Service is much more powerful than the FBI so we have been doing it very concealedly. Besides, the top management will come forward to take care of it. This is not something we care about. Xiao En said. The car drove to the door of the nightclub. Is the bunny girl nightclub that Bill brought him on the first day. The manager came out, picked up the order, and soon all the goods were moved in. The two parties signed the documents and the delivery was completed. Unloaded cigarettes and alcohol in the nightclub, and rushed to other bars to deliver. Sean kept the account and signed it, and he was busy until 10 o'clock to deliver them all. Tom, let's have something to eat. Sean said to Anyi. They haven't eaten breakfast yet. Okay, go eat. 